Okay, so I'm going to go over, I think, the best way to do dissolves right now um, with the new Boolean slash variable saving update. So in the update on uh, the 23rd or the 19th of January, I don't remember which one, um, there's an update with Booleans or bools as they call them um, for short. Um, which is basically true or false binary one zero operation. Um, and with that, they also gave the update of parameter memory or rather saving uh, parameter states persistently across, you know, logging in and logging out, right? So whenever you, if you wanted to, you know, you toggle your, your skirt here on um, or off. And when you spawn in, you want it to be the same as it was before, right? You know, if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. So with this new system, um, it's going to break old dissolve animations and old dissolve methods, right? Previously, there were, you know, one, one huge method people did is the four point method. But this method is dumb. You have to make four animations or three and reverse this one. And that's frustrating and annoying. And you don't have to do that because that's just a lot of effort. Um, so I made this tutorial, which was a little easier, which only used one animation right? One here and one reversed. But this is also kind of inefficient. Um, I traded inefficiency for speed here in the tutorial where this doesn't actually toggle any meshes. So you're still rendering the material regardless if the mesh is on or off, right? Re regardless if your dissolve is on or off, which works, but it's a little bit laggy. It can be. And then again, this one, you just need to create more animations. And then also with both of these methods, you can see that your default state is on, which means that when you spawn in, if you spawn in with this off, you're going to have to watch it dissolve away, which I mean, sure, if you want to do that every single time you spawn in, go for it. But I personally can't stand it. Um, same with this method. Same thing. You're spawning with on. So you have to watch it dissolve off if you have it off last time you logged in. So there's a new way, rather not a new way, but this this is the way that I do it now. Um, and it's pretty efficient. You only need technically one animation for the entire thing. Um, and it also dissolves the mesh and toggles the mesh on and off. So you preserve, um, you know, you preserve your uh, optimization, if you will, of your avatar. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these two layers. Or I can't delete this one. I'm just going to create a new layer. And I'm going to call this layer dissolve. I'm going to change the weight of the layer to one. It's already defaulted to one because it's the top layer on yours. Make sure you hit the gear and change the weight to one. And now we're going to create two animations. I know I said one, but you need two. You need a, um, a spawn in animation, rather a placeholder animation, and then you need the dissolve animations. The reason I said one is because after you made the placeholder animation, you can use that anywhere on your avatar. So I'm not really going to count that. It's a very important animation if you want pausing states or something like that on your avatar, because you can't have empty animation blocks that will break stuff. It's very dangerous to do that. So anyway. Um, the setup, we're going to be dissolving the skirt. So I'm going to click on the skirt and I'm going to make sure, scroll down to its material, make sure you're on a cutout shader. It has to be cutout, transparent, or fade. Uh, I use cutout um, for this particular mesh. Um, and then I scroll down to dissolve, make sure it's enabled. Go to dissolve color. And I don't think you guys, you guys can't see my color wheel. Make sure the A, so you're going to see R, G, B, and A. R is going to be kind of like a cyan color. G is going to be pink. B is going to be blue. I don't really know why mine are that color right now, but that's kind of what it looks like. Um, but anyways, you're going to set the alpha, so the A, to zero, right? And put some dissolve noise in there or something like that, whatever you want to do there. And then just to test it works, drag the dissolve alpha. You can see it's disappearing and it's coming back, right? No problem. Um, so then what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the do nothing animation. So I'm going to take this animator layer that I made Whenever my thing sometimes the load, drag it onto the avatar. I'm going to click the avatar, go to the animation tab, hit create animation. I'm going to go to this folder here and I'm going to call this do nothing. Then I'm going to hit record. And then this is how I like to do it. We're going to just toggle the skirt off. Copy this frame over, drag this frame over once to one. Control C, Control V to make sure they're both the same frame. And then you're going to want to click on this and hit F2 to rename it. So click on this this frame, F2, and then you're gonna name it to like invalid. 
So you're going to see it's going to turn yellow. This is important. It needs to be yellow. It, this, this animation shouldn't do anything. That's why this is yellow. See, it says missing. This doesn't actually do anything. There's no object on my avatar called invalid. That's the point of a, a do nothing, a placeholder animation. It, it's not supposed to do anything. So then we're going to create a dissolve. We're going to create a new clip. I'm going to call this dissolve. And we're going to do two things here. One, we're going to turn the skirt on in the first frame. And then we're going to go to the skirt. We're going to go to the dissolve alpha. And we're going to change that to zero. So you're going to see on and zero for dissolve alpha, right? Then we're going to take this frame, copy, control C, move your slider over one frame, control V. And you're going to change the active to, to false and the dissolve alpha to one. So you're going to have two frames. They're going to be opposite of each other. So object active, true, dissolve alpha zero. Object active, false, dissolve alpha one, right? two alternate frames. Whenever you move the slider, you should see this happening, right? So now we're going to go to our animator and we're going to drag these two animations down or actually just pretend that, uh, cause this is my default state. It created them in here. So your dissolve layer is going to be, you know, separate and you're going to take these two animations. You're going to drag them into your dissolve layer and we're going to set do nothing as the default state and you're going to click on both of these and make sure right defaults is off on both very important and then really quick before i forget we're going to go to our dissolve animation we're going to turn loop time off this is extremely important if you don't have loop time off then you're going to see a lot of glitching and it's not going to be pretty um and then make sure you have a parameter for a boolean parameter for the enabled um, and then we're going to move this one over to the left. We're going to call this on. I'm going to hit click on it. Control D, drag this over to the right. We're going to call this off and then do nothing here. We're going to call this check state because that's what this is doing. So we're going to make a transition to each one of these. And, you know, surprisingly enough, this one is going to, the conditions going to be Garmin enabled is true. And the other one's going to be false. We're going to uncheck exit time and set transition duration to zero. And then we're going to right click on the top where it says transitions, copy transition parameters. And we're going to click on the next one, right click at the top and do paste both. And we're going to change garbage enabled to false. So now we're going to copy this transition parameters again. We're going to right click from on to off, make a transition, paste both again. So garment enabled is false. We're going to make a transition backwards to from off to on, paste both. We're going to do garment enabled is true. So now what you want to do is if we see, if we toggle this now, it's going to glitch out and not be pretty. That's two reasons. One, we need to reverse the animation. So for on, this speed needs to be negative one, which now makes it not uh, glitch out. Um, alternatively, if that's counterintuitive and you don't want the speed to be negative one, you can go into your animation and you can simply um, drag this out one or drag this out farther away so it doesn't override, drag this over one, take this frame and drag it back to zero. And now the animation's just effectively reversed. So then you go back into your animator and change speed of on to one and speed of off to negative one. It all depends on how you wanna do it. If negative one for on is counterintuitive, which it is for me, then change this to one and this to negative one. Um, Definitely messed that up a little bit uh, from the start, but that's okay. Um, regardless, they work both ways, um, the ways that I just showed. So now we're going to see that it's suddenly not working. One sec. I was still previewing the animation. I hit this button here. That's why it wasn't working. So make sure you're not previewing the animation. So click, click on the animator and now you can see whenever I toggle it on, it's becoming invisible and it's spawning back in, right? So that works, but that's obviously not what we wanted to do. We wanted to dissolve. So we need to click on these transitions. And you need to change the transition duration. I like doing 0.4, do that both ways. So what the unity is going to do now is interpolate between the two animations that you made. So now you can see it's actually dissolving. Great. So now if you want it to go faster, change this to 0.2. Point two, and that'll be a lot faster. Now, what I know a lot of people like to do is, you know, so you don't accidentally make a mistake. You can change this one to like 0 0.6, which will make toggling it off take a lot longer. Um, 
than on. So that's up to you as well. Um, but yeah, uh, just change the transition durations to change the speed of the dissolve. Like I could even put it as two for whatever reason. And that happens. And then it's going to dissolve super slow. Or if you don't want the dissolve to happen, you just want it to be a toggle, you can do that too. Um, although this is inefficient if you're doing that, but regardless, that's how that works. Um, and that's kind of the best way I think to do it right now. Um, so again, just to run it back, you need to make a do nothing animation and I have that as a check state and have, uh, you need to check for on and off in these two with pools and same here. And these two animations from off to on and on to off are going to uh, the speed of, or rather the transition duration in seconds is going to determine the speed of the dissolve. And then you need to make sure that you have one animation with two separate frames opposite of each other. So one should be the first one should be um, inactive skirt or whatever your Garmin is called and then dissolve alpha one. And the second one should be active and then dissolve alpha zero. So yeah, works great. Um, pretty efficient in terms of time um, and animations required. Um, I took a long time to explain it. This is something that, um, you know, I could set up in about half a second considering it's only one animation. So I took a couple minutes here, but that's just so you guys understood the reasoning behind this and the effectiveness of it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's it.